recently Jada Pinkett Smith has a book and is talking about uh, being with Tupac and just all this stuff about Will Smith. Do you know about this, this these goings on? I've heard a few. I've seen a few clips about it on TikTok, but I don't know much. You have to tell me more information. But I, uh, but I do have an opinion on her situation. I know briefly about it. Is it that she uh, told the world that her and her b husband, Will Smith, that they've been divorced for over 15 years, I believe? Uh, yes, pretty much. Well, not that they've been divorced, but they've been separated. They've been separated, yes. Just not living together, but they're married still by court? They're married still by court, but just separated. Uh, and uh, you may have heard several years ago how she had uh, entanglement with uh, August Alcina. Yeah, isn't he her son's uh, friend or something like that? Yes. Uh, what do you What do you think about uh, that type of relationship? Are you interested? There's all all these rumors about how they had an open relationship. Uh, anyway, are, are you? Do you approve of such things? Do, do you believe in that type of lifestyle? I think it's important for Jada Smith to understand the type of women that look up to her and the type of influence she has on the community. Because I know I'm only 21, but growing up, knowing Jada Smith, she was the powerful woman that you would want to be when you grow up, right? People look up to her. So when you see stuff like this come out to the media, it makes you wonder what is the truth and what is really a lie. Like, you know, are these celebrities that we support, are they living truth or are they just living this lifestyle just to prove to us that maybe we can do it, but at the end of the day, we're not. I don't know. what I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is the media has influence and it's important to understand the truth. I don't know what went through her marriage and with August and her son or whatever, but I hope she's okay. But I hope she understands like what she's showing the world and black women in particular. So that's what Hey, that's some positive shit. We, we, we don't mind positive shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, if you were to say something uh, to Jada, what, what, would you, what would you say? I would say that, hey, Jada, uh, we love you. The black community loves you. Uh, not just us, but Jesus himself loves you. And you are a woman. You're a woman of power. And use your power to change the community. Use your power to make a difference. You know, yes, your relationship, you're famous. Yes, they'll get public, they'll be on the media. But you have to be sensitive about your actions because you do have an impact. You know, even on the people that do just come to your shows or just watch a red, I think she has a, te a talk show. Red, red Table Talk? Yeah, Red Table Talk. Those women are listening to your words and they're, they're some of them are even following that. So I think not just her, but any woman in the industry always be sensitive because you have power and you have influence towards the youth and the youth are the new that are the next generation all right what's your name what now hey hey that's a powerful stuff what's your name again my name is honorina marie show eugene all right from right here eugene he's a little shy but he has a lot to say but maybe next time all right next time all right you got a big smile you got a big smile look it up all right thank you guys <laughs>